Are you in a long-distance relationship and struggling to keep the spark alive? It's not an uncommon dilemma. Even in this era of instant communication, being miles apart from your partner can put a strain on your relationship. The longing for physical closeness, the time zone differences, the lack of shared experiences, all these challenges can make the bond seem fragile at times. But fear not, distance doesn't have to be a relationship killer. Today we're going to share with you three inspiring stories of couples who have navigated the stormy seas of long distance love and kept their spark alive. These are couples who've turned their geographical separation into an opportunity to strengthen their bond, to understand each other better, and to make their love even more profound. So, without further ado, let's dive into the first story and see how they made it work. Meet Sam and Alex, a couple who have been in a long-distance relationship for over a year. These two lovebirds hail from different corners of the globe, Sam from Sydney, Australia, and Alex from San Francisco, USA. The distance between them is more than 7,000 miles, but their love story is all about bridging that gap. In the world of Sam and Alex, communication isn't just a way to say I love you, but it's their lifeline. They've been apart more than they've been together, but they found a way to keep the spark alive. How, you ask? Through the power of communication. In the beginning, they were like any other couple, struggling to adjust to the time difference, the lack of physical presence, the silence that sometimes crept in. But they soon realized that to survive the distance, they needed to make communication their priority. They used every tool at their disposal, video calls, text messages, emails, even the old-fashioned letters. Yes, you heard right, letters. There's something incredibly romantic about written words, waiting for a letter to arrive and then reading it while imagining the other person's voice. It brings a certain charm to their relationship a charm that modern technology often fails to replicate. But it wasn't just about the tools they used, it was also about the time they devoted. Sam and Alex made it a point to set aside time for each other every day, no matter how busy they were. They had their us time, where they would catch up on their day, share their thoughts, their fears, their dreams. These daily conversations became their ritual, their connection, their bond. And this bond didn't just survive, it thrived. Because they were not just talking, they were sharing, they were listening, they were understanding, they were communicating, and in doing so, they were keeping their love alive, their spark glowing across the miles, across the time zones. Indeed, for Sam and Alex, communication was their lifeline. It was their bridge, their connection, their secret to a successful long-distance relationship, and it can be yours too. Because in the game of love, distance is just a number, but communication, well, that's the key. Now, let's move on to the second couple, Lily and James, who have been apart for two years. Lily and James, despite the miles that separated them, found a unique way to keep their love story as thrilling as the first chapter. Their secret? The power of surprise. Lily lived in London while James was halfway across the world in Sydney. They both were strong believers in the charm of the unexpected. You see, surprises in their view were not just about the thrill of the unknown, but they were a testament to their commitment, a sign that they were thinking of each other, even when they were far apart. Lily, for instance, would send James letters, not emails, but actual handwritten letters. There was something about the weight of the paper, the scent it carried the inked words that conveyed her emotions in a way a digital text never could. Each letter was a surprise, a piece of Lily that James held in his hands, a piece that made the distance between them seem a little less. James, on the other hand, was a wizard with video messages. He would record snippets of his day, silly jokes he thought up, or simply times when he missed Lily the most. These videos were unexpected treats for Lily, who woke up to them due to the time difference. It was like having a piece of James's day, a piece of James himself, with her. They also surprised each other with gifts, not on birthdays or anniversaries, but on random days. A book Lily had mentioned once, a tie with quirky prints that James loved. These little tokens were surprises that brought immense joy. Their story taught us that surprise is not just about the shock value. It's a way of saying, I'm thinking of you. You matter to me. 
It's a way of making someone feel special, cherished, and above all, loved. Surprises, they found, kept their relationship from becoming a routine. They kept the excitement alive. They kept them looking forward to something. And in a way, they kept them close, despite the physical distance. For Lily and James, it was these little surprises that kept their love alive. Finally, let's turn to the third couple, Mia and Noah, who have been in a long-distance relationship for three years. Their romance is a testament to the power of shared experiences, even when separated by miles. Anchoring their relationship on this concept has helped them keep the spark alive, and their story is an inspiring one indeed. Imagine this, Mia and Noah, two souls in love, yet separated by a sea of distance. But they didn't let that stop them from creating shared moments that bridged the gap. They would decide on a movie to watch, pressing play at the exact same moment, and then discussing it afterwards, reveling in the shared joy, the shared laughter, the shared tears. They would pick a book, a novel, or a piece of non-fiction, and read it together, each at their own pace, yet always finding time to dissect and discuss the chapters, the characters, the plot twists. It was like they were sharing a single mind, a single perspective, even though they were miles apart. And then there were times when they would cook together. Yes, over a video call, they'd pick out a recipe, gather their ingredients, and then cook the same dish in their respective kitchens. The aroma, the flavors, they might not have been able to share those, but the process was a shared experience, a shared memory. Mia and Noah prove that distance doesn't have to limit shared experiences. Their story shows us that with a little creativity and a lot of love, the spark can indeed stay alive no matter the distance. So, what can we learn from these stories? From the tales we've spun today, three key strategies emerge to fan the flames of long-distance love. First, the importance of regular and open communication. It's the lifeblood of any relationship. Second, the power of surprise. It's the spice that keeps things interesting. And third, creating shared experiences. They form the glue that binds you together, even miles apart. Remember, every relationship is unique, but these strategies can help you keep the spark alive in your long-distance relationship.